lady D. Hey, you I keep my game tapped. Yo, yeah, I'm so nappy and my bitch. Cause that be natural. The infamous. I looking tacky cause I keep my game tapped. I'm so pretty, I'm so fat, boo. I'm so nappy. It's like a taboo. I'm What's up, people? I am doing this mukbang by myself because I'm about to get ready to do a wig video. <laughs> but I gotta eat because I'm hungry. Like I said, I'm always hungry. So I want to test out this mic too because I'm trying to make sure my audio is better. But I got this mic from uh, Amazon. And I'm trying to see if it worked. Uh, it come with all these little components and stuff like that. But um, we'll see. You got a little remote for it. I don't see the name of it on anything. But you got to download this app on your phone in order to use it. In order to use the... Uh, Oh my goodness, this thing just said my battery was low. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, why is my phone not charging? This, this was quick to fix. And don't act like y'all ain't never had no ramen noodles. we all got to do what we got to do especially if we ain't got time to be cooking like that so anyway what's been popping shaking cracking I did my nails the other day and they are already chipping. I'm trying a new method for my um, designer nails. Once I get it down pat, then I'll do a video on it. But I wanna do a video today with Mimi Nails cause her nails need doing as well. Holding his mic on. I don't have no indicator to let me know whether the mic is on. But this camera on my phone is like crystal clear. You can see all my little blemishes so clearly. <laughs> but I must say, the good thing about it. Unlike my Samsung camera, you can't see the shine that be on my hair. And that is from that flash seed gel. That stuff, you know, it may not hold the best, but it does add some shine, baby. And that is for sure, as y'all can see. These are these noodles. I forgot the name of them. But I like to get them because they have vegetables and stuff in there. And little chunks of meat, which I throw away. I try not to eat that because I don't know what kind of meat that is. But um, <clears throat> I like these. I add pepper, um, garlic powder sriracha 
and some shredded Mexican cheese. And they be on point. You can buy these noodles at, you know, any uh, grocery store, Walmart. And this is watermelon juice. I like drinking watermelon juice for the same reason why I like lime water. It's cleansing. A lot of people don't know that watermelon is the ultimate fruit for people of color. It helps to cleanse the melanin. But see, here's that meat. I don't know what kind of meat this is. It's supposed to be chicken. But I'm not sure. It don't taste like chicken. When I did I used to eat it, it didn't taste like chicken. It don't look like chicken. I want to say it's a mushroom, though. Just want you to think it's chicken, but I don't know. I'm kind of scrunched open so I can be in the frame, and I'm just using this mini. This little bitty tripod, and it's not tall enough. Hmm. Mmm. Let my seat down. There we go. So far, I only seen like one piece of meat in here. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna do a um another crochet wig. I got this wig cap with braids on it, so like corn rolls. We'll see how that work out. say hair it was hard for me to find but this this is the crochet hair from when crochet braids first came out and they weren't even I know when I started doing doing them I wasn't even using a crochet needle I ain't know nothing about a crochet needle we was using hair pins to crochet their hair in but I did learn how to crochet as a child with the needle, like crocheting blankets and stuff. And I didn't think to use the actual crochet needle in the crochet braids. But I'm glad somebody thought of that. But I'm almost through with this, so I needed some energy. Some days I be going all day with no food. And then by the time I realize, you know, dang, I ain't nothing. I be so hungry. So hungry. So I 
I'll just pop some um these particular noodles in the microwave. Now the ramen noodles, whenever I do eat those, I don't like to put those in the microwave. They don't taste the same. I like to cook those on the stove. But anyway. Mmm. I have to see what I'm eating because some of this stuff, these textures. Mm -mm. But yeah. So now I'm done with this. I'm about to, uh, Set up my other camera and everything so that I can um, video this wig experience experiment. <clears throat> so I will see y'all in a second, and thank y'all for tuning in for this portion of the video, which is my mini mukbang. So yeah, I'll be right back. I'm back. I just wanted to show you the products that were used to make this particular wig. Um, today I'm going to be working with this uh, cornrow braided wig cap. I'm going to be crocheting some hair onto this just to see, you know, how to turn out. As you can see, it's got a hole right here. And it was like that when I got it off the pack. So one of the first things that I'm going to do is probably sew that back up. And then proceed with installing the actual crochet hair. And this is the crochet hair that I'm using. Um, it says not braid, jazz wave. And this is the wig cap. It says make your own wig. straight back cornrow cap and I have some uh, weaving thread and yeah of course my crochet needle so if you're interested in seeing how this would turn out then please keep on watching
buy so many things from them. And Amazon has reached out to me about a couple of things. So I'm going to work on doing that. I just haven't found the time. And this particular uh, wig cap came with these little combs. I'll uh, probably sew these on later if I need them. But anyway, uh, I want to get an Amazon so store so that I can, you know, link where I get certain things from. You know, sometimes people won't know that stuff. So I'm just going to start with this hair that I've already taken out of the pack. And then some of it has gotten tangled up. So yeah, I'm going to start with this. I don't know if y'all remember this particular hair, but this was like some of the first hair I recall working with. So let me see how this will go. Looks like it'll be fairly easy. Just going to be installing this. Because I have to concentrate on what I'm doing. So, yeah, I ended up tightening up the wig blockhead stand with electrical tape, you know, pretty much nigger rigging it so that it could be a little bit more stiff for me to be able to work with it properly. So yeah, I ended up doing that before the video was over. And while creating this wig, these are some of the things that I noticed that uh, the particular braiding pattern that was on the wig cap was not a pattern I would normally braid the natural hair in for a crochet style. But I was able to work with this particular um, braiding pattern to make it, you know, work for my advantage or work in my favor I also noticed that a lot of the wig caps that I'm getting from the beauty supply store are defective they have these little holes or tears or rips in the, the actual uh, material so what I do is basically examine the wig caps and just you know sew up the areas that need to be sewn I don't know if you all have noticed anything like that going on with your wig caps when you buy them, but that's just a quick fix that you can do to try to preserve the wig cap and make it um, make it last a little bit longer and to stop the holes from spreading once you uh, add the, the hair because the hair adds weight onto the particular wig caps. So like I said, that's a little quick fix. Um, Another thing that I noticed when, um, as I was creating this wig, that the banding on the front of the wig cap made the front of the cap or the front of the wig look kind of odd. So I ended up having to sew in some hair to kind of disguise that particular banding that was going across the hairline. So if you don't want that to show, you may have to end up sewing some hair onto that particular uh, band. And you have to make sure that you're not sewing all the way through the band. It has to be on that first layer of material and not all the way through. And that's how you will keep that elasticity in that band. Um, 
I also ended up sewing on one of the little combs just in the front of the wig just so that I could have a distinction between the front and the back because um, I don't have any tags or anything like that to give me the indicator once the wig is off of the block so I put a comb in the front so that I can know the front from the back now um, I also have some plastic wig heads to sit the wig on for preservation you can get those at Amazon. Some people get the styrofoam heads. I had, I just have the plastic uh, stands, and that's what I keep my wigs on. Um, you can, you know, kind of add shine to these wigs by spraying on some oil sheen or adding some oils, just to keep that shine going and eliminate any frizz that that may happen. Because with synthetic hair, it tends to be a bit frizzy. Um, and also, it took me about four or five hours to create this entire wig. Um, and I did have some breaks in between. It probably wouldn't have took so long, but, you know, I was being a bit lazy. I was watching some uh, Nigerian movies on YouTube. So, <laughs> I got kind of caught up in the, uh, in the movie watching. But, for the most part, it took me about four or five hours. And I did do a lot of filling in and a lot of the gaps that I saw. And I pretty much uh, installed the hair in the way that I wanted it to fall. So, whichever way you want to do it. I like my wigs to be really, really full because I do have a, a big head. And the thin wigs don't really look right on my big head. So, if you have a smaller head or you don't like a lot of hair, you don't have to put as much hair as I did. It's all about preference. So, you know, that's basically um, everything that um, I can think of right now. So, yeah. this is the finished look i want to thank you all for watching i really appreciate your time and energy please like subscribe comment and share and hit that notifications bell if you want to be updated on all my new videos if you have any questions concerns suggestions or anything like that leave them below hope to see you on the next video peace and love to all of you and as always be blissful DJ, DJ Mike, Mike C. C on the track.
Cause they be natural Lady D. I ain't gonna attack you like, I keep my game tapped Yo, yeah, I'm so nappy I'm all big Cause they be natural the I ain't looking tacky Cause I keep my game tapped I'm so 